Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You're back with Tech Deck, and today we're playing some more of The Infected. So, <clears throat> excuse me, last episode, we had the surprise attack even come in right at the start of the episode. And they ended up destroying a couple of walls here and there, but it's alright, we got them built back up. What did we spend yesterday doing? Wasn't it mostly trying to work the power out? I think I might have been tinkering with that off camera. It's actually been quite a few days since I last played this, so everything feels dead alien to me. Um, let's just drop off all of uh, this crap in my inventory. I need to go get some water sorted, which we can come across this way to do. Where is our helper? Because today our helper is called Time. Time. Ooh, time. There he is. I think we need to start getting some um, repair kits on the go for time. Because I can't tell all the pieces that have been damaged, and time would just instinctively know which pieces have been damaged. So let's get that going. Raven did tell me exactly what I needed for this, and I forgot. Repair kit. One nail, one plank. How many nails have we got? Mm-mm-mm. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just take ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I believe that said workbench. Ten repair kits. Let's go slap these in one of his storage chests. Um, I guess if the cooked one is empty enough, we could put them in that one. There we go. And then we just need to set time's um, jobs back up again. So I want you to repair stuff first, take care of plant beds, and then replenish log stands. Yes, please. So, what are we doing today then? Other than getting my water to start with, because I nearly forgot about that again. And we don't want to leave this burning, because obviously the other thing that I've not turned back on, this is ticking up constantly. A light meter seems to have already ticked around. Maybe that's what caused the attack last episode. Maybe. I'm actually thinking I want to move this a little bit further forward. But then again, do I even have to? Placeables. Other. We don't seem to be getting enough food coming in. Especially considering the animals that we've got going at the minute. I could get another one of those there quite handily. I'm not being funny. If I didn't keep having all the extra gaps around the edge, I could quite easily get multiple barns in here. In fairness, though, we've not even got this barn fully operational yet. So maybe we should just do that. Um, we've got plenty of planks. It's the nails we need. Have we even got any iron spare at the minute? There's three in there. By the way, I got power working. Ta-da! It actually looks quite neat. I, I'm sure I did this off camera. So we've got the first junction box, um, which they are now la uh, labelled. Sorry, This one's lights, this one's oil extractors. So the light cable comes out to there, goes down to this switch, goes into there. And then the lights are going to run down this side, and you can go from one light straight to the other. At least I'm pretty sure you can. Not got my repair tool on me, but... Yeah, we've wired this up one way or another. And then what I'm going to do with the other power cable is the extractor one. That's going to run straight down this side. And then it's going to run into here, once we've got this built up. And then it's going to run... I might actually have another one coming across to this side, just so you can't see the wires everywhere. I don't want it coming out of there and straight through the wall into the oil extractor, but we really do need to get some oil extractors on the go. I am getting dead low on all of the useful resources. Wow, thanks for all the stone there. Um, maybe let's just take the iron off for now. I'm still going to be over encumbered, aren't I? Yeah, we seem to be at the point now where we're fine for um, iron ore. But now we're just running out of everything else. Mainly like all the fuel and stuff that we need. 
It'd be lovely to get that oil extractor up and running, but can't see that happening at the minute. Yeah, we need to get the oil extractors going. Oh, that's um, that's not bad. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think I've got anything else. I've got some more lead, but seven, eight, nine, ten, and we can drop some of these stones off in there. Let's get this one going as well. So that'll give us twenty iron to work with. Yeah, that should be good. <clears throat> these all need nails, right? Yeah, they do. First things first, barn. We're going to need loads of nails for the barn. <clears throat> then how much steel are we going to need for this oil extractor? Because I could actually get this going. Oh, I need meat. One minute. God damn it, stamina. It'd be nice if I started making proper food, but that's not high on my list of things to do at the minute. I left this running again, for Christ's sake. It's like I'm just trying to broadcast my location to everybody. Constantly leaving everything lit up. Um, but he's already used them 10 repair kits, holy Christ. Gimme, gimme. They're not that good for that. Um, potatoes are decent, aren't they? Mm. See, this is what I mean. We're getting pretty short on vegetables, and this barn at the minute is pretty full. Hello. Ooh. Obtained by goats in the barn. And that spoils in, like, seven hours. Um... Yeah, the food is going down relatively quickly, so we, we need to do something about that. Give me all of these. We're not over encumbered yet, are we? One, two, three, four, five. Hopefully this will be enough. It'll be enough for these ones that we've got, but again, we've not filled this up yet. Go slap these all in here, and we've got to do the OCD placement again, haven't we? There we go. And from here, we can actually see how many more we actually need. Which is looking like a fair few. Got to remember, when I first put these down, I literally just slapped them all down anywhere and didn't really um, care that much. Don't hit anything, god damn it. I didn't mean to click. Yeah, we, there was no point me trying to place all the ghost images in here. It wouldn't have lined up correctly. Yeah, mum. Hopefully time's managed to repair everything. Maybe I'm just going to have to make plenty of repair kits to make sure. Uh, what do we need then? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven more to finish this barn off. Placeables. Food. That one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. And what seeds do we need? Pumpkin, watermelon. I think I'd got them in the order that they were in here, hadn't I? Looks like it. move one of these for a minute. Pumpkin. Can we keep these in order please? I don't want to mess them up. And one of them. One of them. And one of them. And we can split this back into one again because I don't want him putting anything in here that he shouldn't do. But damn it time. Don't do it. I think this is like more 
densely packed than any of the greenhouses I had on my previous run through. It looks like we're getting all these in the right positions. Oh yeah, I'm still one short. How many nails have I got left? 13. I still need like four more lots of nails, I guess. Yeah, pro probably put these out. Again, we don't really want to be shooting our light all the way up. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. I'm going to do five. Two, three, four, five. You know that number that's there? You could probably type that in and sort it that way. You know, being as though I knew for a fact I wanted five. Anyway, go throw all these in there. Let's get this one greenhouse finished off. Maybe this will be enough food to support us. And by us, I mean us and the animals. Seems like that's going to be enough nails. Yes, it is. Beautiful. Give me the rest of these planks. And we need to top you back off. I don't actually know what time's doing at the minute. If he's got all the repairs done, then he should, if there's nothing to do in the farm, be going to look at the um, the other things. At uh, the wood, sorry. All right, a little bit scatterbrained this morning. Been ages since I've played this. And I've got to get back into the swing of it. Right, let's throw all these in here. Apologies, OCD time again. And I'm in the way of that one. I was going to say, haven't I got a headlight mod? I have, it's just not turned on. And I was taking the mick out of my brother, right? Playing seven days to die. We normally do it for our streams on Sunday. And I say our streams, I mean my streams on Sunday. Um, yeah, normally play seven days to die. And for the last... Well, we've not played it in a while now, but... The last time we played seven days to die, I was complaining that the uh, the headlight mod wasn't working. On his game, he's going to be... Well, he'd probably not care. He'd not even know because he doesn't watch these videos. I don't think... This is where I see the comment on the video appear when it goes live. Um, yeah. He'd, um, he'd spent ages on the mods that we were playing, saying that the lighting wasn't working, thinking it was a graphical error or something like that. And, um, yeah, it just wasn't working. I just so happened to go around the other... Are you okay there, baby? Purple. Come on, lie down. Come on. She's fine, don't worry. Just that all the time. It just sounds ghastly. Um, yeah, I just by chance happened to go around while he was playing Seven Days. I was like, just just open your game a minute. I was like, you've not changed the hotkey by any chance, have you? No, no, I don't think so. Just, just open it up. Let me have a quick look. Changed it. It wasn't F like it normally was. What the hell was that crow doing? Yeah, it wasn't F like it normally was. He changed it to the tilde key and not realised. That's his muting button for Discord. I'm aware that these don't line up, but I'm just trying not to let them bother me too much. Um, yeah, so um, he, he'd set it to a completely different button and just not even realised. So we just need everything past onions. <clears throat> okay, I can do that. Uh, let's just budge that across there, split one of them. You know what, this would be loads easier. If we did it like that. Orange, that one. That one. That one. Yeah, this it's not going to go into my inventory in any sort of order that I want because I've got all the freaking iron in there, which we're going to need any second now. Don't eat one. Mm. I guess if we get real desperate, I could start eating all the mushrooms, but I don't really want to. Don't really want to. We'll know instantly if I've got the right ones here or not. Yeah, I definitely want to get more repair kits made because I want him to have a surplus of them. And then he can get repairing anything that gets broken. How many have I got? A 15? Do I want to make you 15? Oh, no. 
I just put iron ingots into there. That is not what I wanted to do. For God's sake. There's the 15 that I needed. Wait, what am I doing? I'm turning these into repair kits. Give me one more. There, there, gam. What? Workbench. And we'll go throw these in his little workshop. Hopefully try not to get through these ones as quickly as you did the last ones. You know, if you wouldn't mind. It'd be nice to know how many things are actually damaged. Or it'd be nice if he made some sort of request um, when he was out of resource. Oh, yeah, all of this has been damaged. You look. I mean, I can repair the things myself. I've got a hammer. Uh, that's. I don't really want to be doing that all the time. And what does it take to repair these? No, we don't take the planks out of there. Doesn't it take like logs? Planks. This is this is not the hammer that I need. This is an upgrade hammer. I need a stone hammer. What do we need for a stone hammer then? So I've not built one of those before. Stick, a stone, a rope. One minute. Stick. Yes, I know. A stone, a rope. Can I make it in my inventory? Yes, I can. Uses three planks. Let me try and get repairing some of this stuff ahead of him. I can save some repair kits. And happy days. Doors nearly broken. What about my roof? Did they break any of my roof? No. Need some more planks. So instead of planks, he uses repair kits, I take it. This is what I don't want to be doing. This is why I want him to repair things for me. Good old time over there. Oh, buddy, old pal. I'd rather him go around repairing things and then I've not got to pay any attention to it. He's got all the repair kits, I just don't think he's bothered. Did anything else in here get damaged? They didn't get this far down. I think the only other place they may have damaged will have been around here somewhere because they did take one of them walls out, didn't they? Serpentine our way up. They did quite a number on that one. I don't think they came inside the tower. I'm sure they didn't come this side. God damn it. We've nearly done. Come on, if I can leave repairing at the top and time can go back to doing the other jobs, then I know for a fact that there's nothing that needs repairing. Yeah, I'm just going to take all of these at this point. He does seem to keep doing weird things. Like proper psycho stalkerish things and standing at the door staring at me for a minute and then running off. Dead weird. What had... I'm sure something had like half durability there. Don't know. And this will be where they were smacking the um, defences as they were running in. Surely that's everything repaired that needed repairing. And holes fully health. Nothing back this way should have taken damage. I'm 
Surely not. I'm just going to have a quick run round myself. Apparently I'm not going to have a quick run round myself. I'm just immediately going to get out of breath. See, now that I'm starting to get electric stuff in here that's dead uh, resource expensive, I don't want them getting in and breaking things. Yep, I'm going to make a load of repair kits for you to repair everything, and then I'm going to go around and repair everything. How do you like them apples? I've still not got this freaking ladder built up. Everything in here seems to be good. I did want to start making some steel today, to be completely honest with you, so we can start working towards the um, thingy upgrades. The oil extractor. I know it's not really an upgrade, but you know what I mean. <coughs> At this point, I will have checked every piece of the base. That one's destroyed a little bit. It should be good all the way around then at this point, right? So he should go back to doing farm work now. Unless I've missed something. I shouldn't have them. It seems to have got a jog on. Is there something in here that's been... Buy them. Nothing in here has been damaged, right? Log stands are all 100 out of 100. All 100 out of 100. Hmm. I wonder if any of the floor pieces underneath here... Doesn't look like it. Carts at full health. Oh, that door. Carts at full health. Can you get on with the farming now, please? Because all of this is, like, dry. There's still 15 repair kits in there. You seem to bug out quite hard when I put you on the um, repairing duty. I think I'm just going to have to be repairing myself. Take care of plants, get logs, get stones. Screw it. I'm not messing around with you anymore. You seem to be being dead weird. So, um, yeah. What do we need for... Um, the grinder. Small stones, planks, ingots and mechanical parts. I could basically get this down today, couldn't I? Let's just slap it square in the middle of the room, shall we? Uh, two more planks. On two. I think that's what he wanted, right? Literally wanted mechanical parts. I doubted myself for a second and swapped. That is not what I wanted you to do. So we're not doing steel today. Change of plans. And you need oil, because obviously you need oil. Just going to take two. I can't risk taking too much. And then we should. How do you use this thing? Oh, right, Master Sharpen. So if you look at the durability in the very bottom right corner, we're going to fix these things up. And let me just swap my stone hammer back out for my um, iron axe. And let's sharpen this back up, because we don't want to be making a new iron axe every time this runs out. I mean, we've used this, well, I haven't actually used this axe properly in absolutely ages at this point, but I just wanted to make sure that we weren't going to lose it. It's mainly for the spear that I wanted this setting up. We don't want to be missing out on that there is spear. Now that it's a steel one, we want to keep it around. Uh, if we sharpen it after every big attack, then we should be good. 
Apparently that had a little bit more that needed repairing. And the spear's doing the weird thing where it just doesn't show up in my hand. There we go, we're fine. Right, let's have a quick look at our iron doodars. By the way, it's night time. These should be on. And they look dead pretty. Eventually we'll have them all the way around the base, but... Well, actually at the minute, the amount of um, power we've got coming in does balance itself out with the amount of power that goes out. I shall show you. One second. Yes, yes, yes. I know, you're thirsty. Getting a tap up and running would be dead nice as well. So if we want to quickly see how well our power's doing, we come into here, we have a look. Um, power going in, we've got 24 power going in and 20 power going out. How have I got 24 power going in? Oh, the wind turbine is absolutely kicking up a storm. Nice, 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 nice. So the oil extractor won't need to be on the entire time. And obviously it's going to be better during the day when the solar panels on as well. But I need to get more solar panels, more wind turbines and just everything in general. Um, we really didn't do well frying there. That's a 9, 10. I uh, guess let's start cooking a load of stones up again then. Shall we? You're going to need one of them as well. Or just drop it on the floor in front of it. Yep, give me the freaking... And now I can't see it because I'm not aimed down low enough. Genius. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. And I'll light you up. So if we want steel, I'm fairly sure it's iron ingot and a lead ingot. Wet bricks. Lead ore, iron ore on the anvil. Wait, lead ore and iron ore. I've used most of my lead ore at this point. Hmm. So there's four steel alloy, which you then obviously chuck into here to smelt up. Uh, I thought it was lead ingots. It's not lead ingots at all, is it? Fair enough. Fair enough. And, I mean, we've already got three steel ingots. Let's just take these. Let's see how many we need to get this off the ground. Because I need any sort of oil coming in at the minute. Um, we only need six. And then aluminium... Aluminium 15, mechanical six. Aluminium 15, mechanical six. Aluminium 15, mechanical six. It is actually aluminium, isn't it? Why did I assume it was um, aluminium parts as though they're like mechanical parts or something? It's actual aluminium ingots. We're going to need loads of them. Well, we're going to have the steel, which is novel. Oh, I'm going to need to set the rest of the power thing up there, which I've not quite finished off yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One of these has got to be finished by now. They're nearly finished, but not quite. And there's no way to make these fragments into actual ingots, unfortunately. I didn't mean say ingots, I meant say ore. Yeah, there's no way to actually do that. I don't know if five of them and a lead ore would work. I've not got any lead ore to try. I need to have a run around the caves for the bit and actually um, build my lead ore back up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Gimme. Just get them smelting up. Let's drop the iron off. That is all the aluminium we've got. Two. I dare bet we've not got that much in our storage at the minute. So I need 13 more aluminium, and we've got one steel to spare. 
You don't need a CLD, you know, we need copper for that. I think we're going to have to take a drive to the caves, aren't we? And maybe do a lap or two around there. It is actually end of the episode time, so let's, um, let's just let these smelt through. And then we'll wrap the episode up there, I think. Has What's-His-Face ended up going round and watering stuff yet? I'd say yes, it looks like it. Oh, I'm still going to leave this greenhouse on the back side there. The nails are going to be the worst bit. Well, actually, the copper's not going to be great. The glass is the easy part there. Um, glass and the planks. Are you actually able to keep up with absolutely everything? I hope you are. It looks like he's just doing a harvest now. Just want to check these other chests to make sure he's not discreetly dropped anything off that I've not noticed. It's okay me trying to keep things in order, but he doesn't do a good job of keeping things in order. And it did look like he pocketed that uh, that melon that he's just run away with there. Right, these can all go off for now. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna trust time and assume that he's going to go and drop that in the uh, in the barn. We have literally doubled the amount of food that we've got coming in today. It has been a somewhat productive episode. Don't let me fool you. Please don't roll. I might need to get freaking ramps going all the way around the base here. Just because I keep just flying off the same spot every time. And every time it rolls, pretty much like that. At least if we had a nice ramp going down. And maybe if I could build a floor underneath there. Which is just logs and planks. We can do that quite easily. Maybe then it'd be quite nice driving around. Because there'd be no bumps and whatnot. I don't know. We'll have a look. Then again, and I don't really want to do this, but I could. I could have like a literal bridge coming out from the corners where I've put the ramps at the minute. And um, then I'd that easily be able to get in and out of the base. I just don't want to get close to the shoreline. So I don't know how exactly they, uh, the Vambies work with the water. Is it the point where they've got to start swimming? That they don't like going into the water? Can they not touch the water at all? Or can they just run in it and paddle a little bit? I'd rather leave my base like in the deeper parts of the water. And keep them coming and attacking it like they are at the minute. You know, one of these episodes we're going to get enough iron. There to actually um, build up them gates. Them two gates that we've got, you know, that need 50 iron ingots each. I should have brought some oil down here with me. But I'm hoping that... You know, over the course of the episode, they've just built up plenty for me. Normally, we get like five or six ores when we come down here from each variety. I would like to get at least a second one of each, but at the minute, we have not got the um, the production there to do that. I either need to get the amount of food that I'm um, spoiling up, or I need to get the amount of oil that I'm bringing in up. I really thought I could thread the needle there. I've done it so many times. I'm not going to attempt a third time. I'm just going to go around like a normal person and hit this rock instead. How many episodes in a row now have I come down here to finish? It feels like I'm always coming down here at the end of the episode. Let me off. Alright, let's see how you go in. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. We've still got like... 13, 7, 8 more to go. Well, boo, that's unfortunate. Right, I think I'm going to finish off this episode here. And next episode, we're still going to be here. Because I think I'm going to show you how quickly we can get iron and lead from down here. Anyway, that's where we're leaving it for today's episode. So thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see some more. All comments and feedback greatly appreciated as always. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.